So Ugas took Figueroa to the Cuban school. I mean, he really made a punching bag out of Figueroa. Omar Figueroa has a lot of things to work on and especially his defense. He can't just try to walk forward and walk through every fighter he fights, you know, especially at the welterweight division. He lucky that wasn't an Errol Spence or even a Terrence Crawford because if it was, he would have definitely had brain damage because Ugas hit him with everything in the kitchen sink. I mean, he hit him. He went and grabbed the knife and stabbed him with it. He went and got a spoon and to abracadabra and practiced magic on him. He did everything with Omar Figueroa. He dropped him in the first round, catching him with beautiful combinations. He dropped him with the right hand, straight right. He caught him with crazy uppercuts. And throughout the fight, he literally just beat up on the Omar Figueroa. And I know uh, he built his career off beating old champions and fighters that don't have great defense themselves and fighters that can't take a punch in a way and build up false confidence in my opinion because like i said at, at the highest level fighters has better defense even better chin more power more skill so ugas ain't the only fighter that could fight at the world Trade division you got errol spence you got um, Terrence Crawford, in my opinion, the top five welterweights are Errol Spence. The second one is Terrence Crawford. The third one is Manny Pacquiao. The fourth one is Ugas, uh, because in my opinion, he even beat Sean Porter too. And the fifth one is still Keith Thurman because he already beat a Danny Garcia and a Porter, even though he lost to Pacquiao the way he did. But he still has great names on his resume, and he even performed well versus a Pacquiao obviously he couldn't be a Pacquiao in my opinion he probably won four or five round max uh, but it wasn't a bad performance you know so I can't put a Porter or a Danny Garcia over a Keith Thurman knowing he already beat them guys you know so Omar Figueroa really loses to any of the top welterweights it don't gotta be a Ugas he glad that Ugas didn't have much pop. You know, Ugas is, is a great fighter, has a lot of skill, big for the welterweight division, but he doesn't pack a punch. And in my opinion, Ugas beat Sean Porter. But like I said, one thing he missing from his arsenal is uh, knockout power. He got enough pop to keep his opponents honest, but that's about it. You know, obviously he dropped Omar Figueroa to prove that he got a pop, but Elmar Figueroa doesn't have defense and he was getting caught flesh. On top of that, he's a 140 pounder. I think Omar Figueroa started his career at 135, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so it's a lesson learned, it's a blessing and a lesson, like Keith Thurman like to say, but there's only so many lessons you could get taught before your blessing turned to a curse instead. So Omar Figueroa, like I said, he need to work on his defense. Yeah, he beat Errol Spence in the amateurs, but we know Errol Spence at the time when they did fight, didn't have much of, of an amateur experience because he started boxing late at the age of 15. So when he fought Omar Figueroa at the time, it was a completely different version of Errol Spence. And even though Errol Spence started boxing late, he still managed to go to the Olympics with a handful of fights in the amateurs because he's a very talented fighter. And you could see when Errol Spence turned pro, he got way more polished since then. So, like I said, Omar Figueroa is lucky that he fought an uh, Ugas who doesn't really have much of a punching power than even a Keith Thurman. Maybe, I, I think Keith Thurman is a good style matchup for Omar Figueroa because Keith Thurman is not comfortable in the inside. And, um, yeah, he could hit hard, but at the end of the day, if Omar Figueroa could pressure him and just stay in the inside, stay on him all night, he has a chance versus a Keith Thurman. But I still will favor Keith Thurman, or at least a Keith Thurman with the right mindset, you know. So, like I said, uh, Ugas, I'm glad he got the opportunity to show his talent. And I would love to see uh, Ugas versus uh, Terrence Crawford in a way, you know, if they could make that fight happen. That's a great fight. That's a, a great technical fight, in my opinion. 
Ugas come from a Cuban boxing school and uh, Terrence Crawford already beat two Olympians, two gold medalists, uh, that's being Gamboa. Uh, so that would be a great fight in my opinion. And we already know Ugas performed well at the highest level at the welterweight division because he beat Porter, in my opinion, in my eyes. A lot of people saw the same thing. So um, we'll see what happens with Ugas. Definitely, as long as you keep winning, they can't deny you. Even if the judges rob you, the fans will still be on your side. So subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't listen to these casual ass fans. And if y'all like the boxing memes that y'all see on my videos, follow Lantoon Boxing for the funniest boxing memes. And follow me at Aki TV as well on Instagram. The, the links will be in the description box below. Subscribe below and click on the notification bell to get notified every time we go live and to be continue on the next episode of Aki TV. Peace and we out.